So in this video I'm just going to take you through what I mean about an ePortfolio evidence page. So this is for assessment 3 and it requires that you take screenshots of your use of your ePortfolio. Now weeks uh, 9, 10, 11, 12 as we've got up in the menu here uh, take you through the different criteria. So I'll, just, I'll click on week 9 and you'll see that it asks for uh, that you fill out your profile information and that you upload a profile image and that you set goals and that you have files etc. So how do you show your files area on your evidence page? That's what I'm going to show you now. So from my ePortfolio page I'm going to edit the page so that I can add material to it and I'd like to add a picture to that page. Now I need to take a screenshot of my files area so that I have proof that I've added some folders um, and files to it. So I'm going to use a little tool called Skitch. Um, you'll, you may use uh, any screen capture tool that you like. Uh, make sure that you look for the information on that. So I'm just going to click uh, Screen Snap and choose the area that I want to copy. Uh, by dragging and highlighting the area that I want to copy and click capture and there it is so in this program I need to um, export it uh, in other words save the image somewhere so I'll do that just give it a name and now I need to add that image to my page so I'm going to drag and drop the image onto there and I'm going to upload a file actually I'll just call it um, files area first I'm going to find my file there it is and click save. Right, the next thing that I need to do is just write a brief explanation of what the files area is for. So I'll just put that underneath. save that. Right, as you can see that image is quite small so I'm just going to change the layout of my page to two columns of equal width and click save. Okay, now it's up to you to start um, taking snapshots and putting in evidence of your use of my portfolio. Uh, but that's basically it. Just work through the criteria as listed, look for the instructions uh, and start building your pages.